Ladies and gentlemen, the three aircraft who have flown faster than Mach 3, otherwise known as the Valkyrie, the Oxcart, and the Blackbird. Now, together, they represent the pinnacle of speed in aviation. Let me see it. Well, this is the design for a hypersonic passenger aircraft. It flies at Mach 5, 90,000 feet above the Earth. It will move people from New York to London in 90 minutes. And we're going to build it. Modernizing the SR-71, huh? Slightly more complicated than that. Well, yeah. Well, this is courtesy of Glenn Case, our CTO. OK, bad news first. This plan has a level of difficulty that rivals landing a rover on the moon. First, we have to get off the ground, which anyone will tell you takes more than a pair of wings. Next, through this corridor, which requires a perfect balance of aerodynamics, propulsion, and control. Past that lies a sound barrier. Now, this is where it gets tricky. To break the sound barrier, we need an airframe with extremely low drag. Which we can't buy. And an engine that can operate from standstill on the ground to Mach 5. Which doesn't exist. Furthermore, the transonic region is rigged with massive uncertainty. Meaning, if we don't have enough control margin, the aircraft would go unstable and we'd crash. Now, once we break the sound barrier, though, then it's a piece of cake. Just two more Mach numbers to start the ramjet, accelerate to five times the speed of sound, all while keeping the passengers safe and comfortable. Any questions? Tal vez debemos usar un cohete para acelerar el avión? Nah, rockets are out. Solids aren't reusable and liquids require too many changes to existing infrastructure. If rockets made sense for commercial aircraft, they'd already be using them. Anyone else? You said something about good news? Yeah. Anytime there's been an acceleration of a transportation network, it's always been accompanied by massive social and economic growth. When Rome built out their roads, by design, they grew their GDP by one to two billion dollars in cash and coin. With high-speed rail in China, 800 to 900 billion. By accelerating the world to Mach 5, like we'll do by the end of the decade, four trillion a year without breaking a sweat. Now we're all working to create this future together, each of us with shares in this company. You do the math. Exactly. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Say we get off the ground and up to 90,000 feet, through the sound barrier that we can't break, with an engine that doesn't exist, and up to hypersonic speeds. Without burning up from the heat. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention that. Well, yeah, say we do all that. We're just supposed to fly people at Mach 5 with the blessing of the FAA? Yeah. Oh, okay.